Baldur's Gate 3 has a ton of awesome weapons scattered across the game, and most of them are easy to miss. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get one of these weapons that you can get early on in the game, that will take you all the way through Act 1 and even into Act 2. This weapon is obtainable so early on that I bet a lot of you probably missed it. The weapon I'm talking about is the Everburn Blade, an awesome, fiery, two-handed greatsword that is perfect for any fighter, barbarian, or paladin character. It's super easy to get, and I'll be showing you guys how to obtain this powerful weapon, but before we do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is obviously create your character. This does tend to be a little bit easier if you're playing something other than, let's say, a cleric. However, it really doesn't matter. Once your character is made, the first thing you guys want to do is go into the second room and take the elevator pad up. There will be a corpse laying on some table with its brain exposed. Follow the dialogue options and pass the skill check to remove the brain from the head. Once your character is holding the creature in his or her hands, choose the second option to spare the creature. This will ensure that you have the creature as a pet, which is going to help you in combat. Then just follow through the tutorial mission, recruiting Lazel and fighting your way through until you get to the room where Shadowheart is trapped inside one of the Mind Flayer pods. Ignore Lazel and try to find a way to get Shadowheart out of the pod. The most simple method here is to go into the next room and loot a rune off of the dead Mind Flayer which is going to use to unlock Shadowheart's pod. Once she is free, she will join your party. And now that you have your group, head into the next room and wait for the cutscene. Once the cutscene is over and you've spoken with your party, hit escape and change the difficulty to explore. This will make the boss fight incredibly trivial. And don't worry, you guys can always change the difficulty right back, no one's gonna tell. And now that your game difficulty is on explore, it's time to head into the room and start the fight. Right off the start, make sure that you take out the three devils and then use dash on all of your characters to get them over to Commander Zalik and start attacking him as soon as possible. The trick here is to kill him and loot the weapon and then run over to the other side of the room and click the console within 15 turns. So now basically just have all of your characters take turns whacking at him until he dies. And this is why we turned it to explorer mode because it's going to make this fight a lot easier. Once he dies, if the Mind Flayer is still alive, he's going to turn on you, so make sure that you kill him off too. And one thing to keep in mind here is that there's actually an achievement for killing Commander Zalik, but you do not get it if the Mind Flayer gets the killing blow on him. So if you guys want to get this achievement, you need to make sure that you are actually the one that kills him. Once Commander Zalik is killed and the Mind Flayer is dead, Make sure that you actually loot the sword off of the guy's body before you go over to the console and activate it. And as you're heading over to the console, three more adds will spawn. I always just click dash on my characters and just run them right through them. But if you have plenty of time, you can always stop and kill them. It's up to you. And one last thing is to remember that if you have Lyzelle loot the sword, you actually won't have access to the sword until you get her to join your party later on in Act 1. So I would always make sure to have at least Shadowheart or your main character be the ones to loot the sword. And that's where we're going to wrap up this video. If you guys got something out of it, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you didn't like it, well, I appreciate you staying this long. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm still solo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.